there's no better feeling than caring for the veterans. Working at the VA has been one of the best decisions I have ever made. We really take the time to sit back and listen to their stories. It makes us much better at caring for their needs. Our health insurance is amazing. You also get the wonderful feeling of helping our nation's heroes. You can't get that anywhere else. <laughs> for more information, visit www.vacareers.va.gov. Well, happy Tuesday and welcome to VA Careers Live. My name is Mike Owens and I'm a recruitment marketing specialist for the Veterans Health Administration, as well as your host for our weekly segment, Talk About It Tuesday. If you're tuning in for the first time ever, we want to let you know that we are here every Tuesday at 12 noon Eastern time. So feel free to grab a snack, grab something to drink as we talk about careers here at VA. Whether And also, whether you've tuned in for the first time or you've been here forever, we want you to be part of the conversation, so feel free to leave any questions and comments in the comment section below. Our team and I will go through those comments and questions throughout the day and throughout the week. And also, your questions may appear on our on the live broadcast for Talk About It Tuesday. So again, be part of the conversation. Submit anything you want to submit below, and we'll be sure to try to get those comments addressed and those questions answered. And also, we want we all want this information to get out to as many people as possible. We all know someone who's trying to work here at VA. So we ask that you please share our broadcast. Again, click the share button. We have a special hashtag, hashtag that's uh, focused on this, uh, just for this broadcast, and that's hashtag work at VA. Again, hashtag work at VA. Um, share our broadcast, use that hashtag, and this information will get out to as many people as possible. So with that, we're going to go into our broadcast today. Today, we actually have a special interview today. Um, we're going to be talking about optometry careers. Um, so if you are an optometrist or you're an up-and-coming optometrist and you're interested in working here at VA, you might want to stay tuned. But even if you're not an optometrist, please stay tuned because guess what? There's a lot of information in this broadcast that can help you even outside of the optometry career. So we have a special guest today, and my guest today is from uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's where she's originally from. Uh, she did her undergrad at the University of South Carolina, so she's a Gamecocks uh, fan. She's a college football fan. That's why I have my LSU. You know, I have to have that rivalry there. So I feel that LSU is going to win the national championship this year. So with that being said, if you're watching and you're a college football fan, put in the comment section who you feel is going to win the college championship. I feel the game's going to be between LSU and uh, Clemson. That's what I feel. So I know I'm about to get a lot of Alabama fans on here. But speaking of Alabama, uh, my next guest, she went to optometry school at the University of Alabama in Birmingham, UAB. So if you are in South Carolina or you are in Alabama, specifically UAB, go ahead and put a shout out in the comment section below. Um, as far as her NFL team, she currently lives in Columbia, South Carolina. So she cheers for the Panthers. Uh, she says her husband cheers for the Bears because he's from that area. So, you know, that's uh, some disappointment there in that household. But most importantly, she's a she's a very good optometrist. She works at the VA Medical Center in Columbia, South Carolina. So I know I said a lot. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you guys to Dr. Patricia Krantz. How are you? Hey, good. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Good. Thanks for having me. No problem. We're happy to have you. And I know I gave a lot of information out, but, you know, I have to have that LSU South Carolina rivalry. So um. <laughs> I, I definitely can compete with, uh, you know, national championship vibes. But, you know, we're getting there. We're getting better. And uh, I'm a diehard. So go Gamecocks. <laughs> awesome. 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 So are you ready for our interview today? I'm ready. Good. Again, thank you for joining us today, and um, we really appreciate you doing this for us today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so, you know, let's get to know you a little better. How did you first come to work at the VA? Yeah, great question. So as our fourth year rotations and as a fourth year student, we are required to do both internship rotations at the school, and we're also required to do some externship rotations. Um, so whether that be like a private practice or whether a corporate setting, um, we can choose between those, but one of our requirements as an externship rotation, we have to do a multidisciplinary setting or a VA or a hospital-based setting. There's just so much room for learning there. Um, 
So I chose to do the VA setting. I did awesome. uh, my rotation down in Tampa. Um, I worked at an outpatient center for a few months and um, it was amazing. You know, I only worked there for a couple of months. It got sh cut short due to COVID. Uh, but just in my two and a half months there, I just really, you know, felt a calling and I really felt at home there. Uh, so I decided to go on to pursue a residency at the VA. So I interviewed at a couple different places in South Carolina and in Florida, um, fell on Columbia. I thought it was just a great accumulation of everything that I wanted. I could see primary care. I could see ocular disease. I could see ERs and traumas and things like that. Um, and it just offered a really well-rounded experience here. Um, so I did my year here and then I was applying for jobs and looking around the area um, for a full-time position because I just reaffirmed my calling here that I just wanted to be here with the veterans and take care of them. Just really loved it. And another doctor working here at the time was transferring to a different VA um, and a job opening opened up and, and they offered me the job and it's here I am. It just couldn't have worked out better. What started out to be a requirement for me actually ended up being my career. So I'm loving it. Awesome. And uh, as a veteran myself, I appreciate your uh, your commitment to veterans uh, at the VA hospital in uh, Columbia. And I know I'm in New Orleans, but you know what? We no matter what VA facility you work at, you know, as veterans, we appreciate everyone who decides to work for the VA to help veterans. So thank you for that. Absolutely. So um, speaking about uh, optometry and optometrists, why do you think the VA is a unique place for them to work? Um, as an optometrist at the VA, I mean, I feel like we are considered the primary eye care provider. You know, we've got the primary care doctors, you've got different specialties here, um, which I love being in that setting where we can refer different people in-house to different places that they need to go. Um, but sometimes if a patient comes in and, you know, they're coming in for their primary care visit and they mention something about their eyes, um, they can just send them to us or, you know, they could just, you know, message us. We could try to figure something out for the patient. It's just a really good way to like really practice my full scope of optometry here. Um, we've got, you know, along with those specialties, we've also got our ophthalmology team, which we work really closely with hand in hand between patients with monitoring disease, getting them glasses, of course, I feel like most people think optometrists, you come in and, and the main thing we do is glasses and, and contacts. Um, but we do a lot more than that. We're able to, you know, evaluate for diabetes or find high blood pressure um, and see if there's any other systemic findings that pop up in the eye with, you know, some people don't notice these things. Some people don't feel them. They don't know what's going on. And, and we're able to, with a dilated eye exam, able to, you know, talk about these things and get the patient to where they need to be. Um, it's just a really, really awesome, well-rounded experience here. And just meeting the patients that come in, um, they have amazing stories. I mean, these veterans have been through so much. They yeah. have fought in different wars. I mean, you see everyone from, you know, 25 to 95, and they're just full, full of life and so full of um, experiences. And I love just getting to be a part of their their lives and their health care. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, just also be working at the VA. I can, yeah, you can, there's a lot of stories you're going to hear. If you just sit down and let them talk, you hear some amazing stories. So yeah, thanks again. So um, again, there may be optometrists out there that are watching or maybe watching at a, at a later date, um, seeing this broadcast. Um, and some of them may want to know what it's like working at, at the VA. So or what opportunities are available. So can you kind of explain some of the uh, career paths that are open to optometrists uh, here at VA? Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, there's there's different job areas. I mean, you could do part-time, which is called fee-based, where if you, you know, live in an area where they don't need you, you know, full-time, that's an opportunity for you. Of course, you've got your full-time doctors here. Um, but within being an optometrist here, there's so much room for growth. So, for example, we work where I work, we have six full-time doctors, we have three residents, and we have a student program as well. So each doctor um, is in charge of different things. So we've got two doctors that are in charge of our student program, which we have a very large uh, amount of students that roll through here each year, just like I was offered to be at Tampa for my three-month rotation. We offer that to students to come in for three or four months from you know between six and eight uh, different optometry schools from across the country. Um, we've currently got some all the way from California, which is awesome that they chose to come to our little VA in, in Columbia. 
Um, but we have that opportunity to teach them and help them. And then we've got a different doctor who is in charge of our residency program um, so that he chose that career option to be um, something that he does as well. So he's in charge of our three residents here. Um, we also have a, a specialty clinic called our low vision clinic and our contact mm -hmm. lens clinic, which most people know what contact lenses are, but there's obviously different ones for different situations. If someone, um, if a veteran has, you know, severe trauma to the eye or severe scarring or disease, you know, there's different things that we can do other than glasses to get them the care that they need. So our low vision clinic is special for um, veterans who have lost a significant amount of vision or who have gone through big traumas and they're blind, maybe in one eye, maybe in both, or maybe just have really advanced disease like glaucoma or, um, you know, diabetic changes that um, have gotten really advanced, you know, and they're blind, we can give them things like magnifying devices, or we can um, enroll them in, in our blind rehab facility that's local to us in Augusta, and we can get them, you know, just ways where they can do their everyday life, writing checks, reading medicine bottles, things like that, where, um, you know, we kind of take advantage of our eyes sometimes, but with people yeah. who lose vision, we're able to really help them function in their everyday life in their everyday way that um, they can still live to the best of their abilities. And so that's really rewarding here. Um, we've got a great doctor that is in charge of that program in that clinic. Um, I recently became certified in teleretinal imaging, which is just okay. a, you know, if someone comes into their primary care doc and, and they're just recently diagnosed with diabetes or something, you know, along those lines, or if they're having some eye troubles, they can send them to this imaging clinic where they take these photos and then um, I get the photos and I read them. If there's any red flags that I see or anything that I want to look into further, I'm able, you know, to get that patient scheduled here in our clinic within, you know, X amount of time, if sooner or if four months is okay, you know, we can work like that. So um, there's so many different ways you can kind of broaden your career and the VA is here for that. They want you to do that. They're, they want you to be able to practice your full scope here. Um, and then outside the clinic, of course, there's different ways that we can, you know, do more than just be an eye doctor and see a patient. So we have the opportunity to go be a speaker somewhere or give a lecture somewhere at different conferences, which is a huge part um, of our team here. We really love um, to learn and just be a part of that. So there's a lot of different careers here, a lot of different paths you can take. And if you are willing to start that at a VA practice that doesn't have that, I mean, that's it's just broadening care and it's it's broadening education, which I think is a big part of being an eye doctor here. Awesome. And uh, since you were talking about that, that's an experience that I've actually I had to go through that process because I'm I'm actually pre-diabetic and I had to go to uh, the clinic and they took pictures of my eyes. They dilated everything because they, you know, they want, I guess, wanted to check to see if I was a, a glaucoma suspect or whatever. And they took my vision and I'm like, man, I, I have 20, 20 vision. But the doctor prescribed me a, a very light prescription glasses. He said, just this is. This is just to kind of relieve some of the pressure, even though I didn't feel it. So, you know, I while you were talking about that, it just made me think about that and everything. So, but yeah, it's it's very, very good. You know, I, I've had a lot of favorable, you know, experiences with, with the VA optometrist. So, you know, again, thank you. And that just sent you talking about that just sent me through uh, your new certification, sent me through memory lane. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, Again, uh, we're talking, uh, if you're just tuning us, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to uh, Dr. Patricia Kranz from the VA Medical Center in Columbia, South Carolina. We're talking about uh, careers for optometrists here at VA. Um, so with that, we're going to go to our next question. So again, we may be, there may be optometrists watching that want to come to VA and, you know, they're thinking about weighing the options from the private sector benefits to the benefits of working at VA. So can you uh, just go over some of the benefits of working uh, as an optometrist at the VA? Yeah, absolutely. You kind of stole my thunder there, led me right into it. I think there's a great work-life balance here. Um, we get a little bit, I'd say a few more holidays than the private sector or corporate setting get. And if you have a family, you know, that's a really good way. I mean, your students are off school. Most of the time, you're also off of work on those days, so it's a good way to just be home and, and not have to take extra time off to be home on those days when your kids are home. Um, so I think that's a really great aspect of the VA life. Um, there's great benefits. Health insurance is fantastic. Um, and there's different, um, you know, looking into your future. They have retirement 
plans, of course, and there's so many options for you to dive into and just really invest in your future, which is a huge part of, you know, working in general, no matter where you are, you don't want to work forever. You want somewhere yeah. <laughs> at some point you want to retire. And, um, that was a big benefit for me to come here. I just, I think that there's lots of options, um, to invest in your future and your growth. Um, we at here at the VA in Columbia, um, we have a compressed tour, which is nice. So, uh, we all rotate off on different days. We work 10 hour days. So our tour is seven to five thirty, which can be really long, but we have that extra day off, you know, midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which allots for us to, you know, go to doctor's visits on those days if we need, or do extra things that we weren't able to do on the weekend without having to cancel or reschedule patients. It just gives us a little bit more flexibility and time to, to get those everyday life things done, which I love. Sometimes in the middle of the week, you just need a day to recoup and rest. And um, people who work at the VA know when you are working, you're working. I mean, you're not, <laughs> there's no time to rest. Like you're seeing, we're seeing patients all day and we're busy doing, you know, X, Y, Z. So that extra day off in the middle of the week is really um, great for me to just recover and recuperate a little bit. Uh, the other thing is there's a public student loan forgiveness program that is offered here, um, which is amazing. I mean, you come out of, you know, four, eight, nine years of school and, and you're ready to start your career. And then you're like, oh, I, you know, I've got a lot of debt building up back there. <laughs> um, so it's a little daunting, but working at the government, any, any government facility or federal system, um, they offer this loan forgiveness plan where they'll help you pay off some of your student loans if you work for X amount of time. So that was really big for me as you know, I was an out of state student, so I had a whole lot of debt, but um, it's great. Uh, they make it very easy and, and motivating to keep working. And, and I love that they're able to offer that for us. Yeah. Well, you know, you're back back to what you were saying. You were talking about how, you know, as a VA employer, you're always busy and you're always seeing patients. And I can say that no matter which VA facility, because of the position I'm in, I'm able to visit different VA facilities throughout the year. And if you ever walk past an optometry clinic in a VA facility, it's always crowded, always <laughs> people sitting there, you know, for their appointments and everything. So, yeah. So when you were saying it, I said, yeah, I, I can imagine how busy, busy it is in, uh, in your department, no matter what, you know, what your what skill set you're working in in optometry. So. Um, so, final, <laughs> so final question of the day. And again, this is one of our favorites. Um, what is your favorite thing about working at VA? Oh, too many. I think the biggest thing is just the relationships that I build with not only the doctors around me and the other physicians in the facility and the staff members. I mean, we are all working together for the same purpose, um, no matter what level we're at. And I've built some really lifelong friendships here with um, some of the doctors that I work with, which is great. Um, but with all the also the patients, I mean, they are coming to you for help. They're coming to you for care. Um, some of these veterans are driving, you know, an hour, two hours away to come to their eye appointments. If their local outpatient center doesn't have, you know, a small eye clinic there or any kind of near eye doctor, you know, they're they're making that trip to you. You know, there's some veterans that come and they stay at a hotel and they just they have all their appointments here and and they trust us to do that and they're willing to make that drive, which is um, it just really resonates with me. I think that's amazing. Um, again, I just I feel like I say this a lot, but the well-rounded care here and the ability to treat the patients in-house and not always have to send them out. You know, of course, sometimes, you know, that's what we have to do if we don't have the exact thing that they need here. But most of the time we're able to just, you know, message the primary care doctor and say, hey, you know, this is what I did here. You know, I'm watching this and this patient and just let you know, you know, this is our plan or hey, this person's having an emergency, you know, we need to get them to our ophthalmology team or we need to get them back down to the ER to have some further testing done. Like everything is here. Um, and it's just really, really great that we can do that and we can offer that. You know, sometimes in, in the private sector, if you're not working with some of those specialists with you, that patient has to be transferred, you know, to this clinic or that clinic or rescheduled to a different day. Um, and I just love the opportunity to really practice our full scope here, get the patients the help that they need and take care of them um, in every way that we can. You know, we worked and we went to school for eight or nine years for this and the VA offers us the 
ability to really practice everything that we learned and everything that um, we strive to do. And I just, I feel like I'm making a difference here. And I just hope that the veterans, you know, appreciate coming to the eye clinic because I, every day, every patient that I see, you know, I want them to get the best care that they can. Um, and I love just being a part of their lives and I'm so thankful for everything that they've done for us. Awesome. Awesome. And as a veteran, I, I can tell you that they, you know, I'm sure that they appreciate the work that you do and, you know, they, you know, they enjoy coming to the clinic and being able to see, you know, some of the greatest doctors and, and medical professionals in the world. So thank you again. So with that being said, again, you know, I know you have a busy schedule, you know, um, but we want to personally thank you for coming and spending a half an hour, a half an hour with us today. So thanks again, Dr. Kranz. Of course. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. This is great. Awesome. Awesome. So with that being said, that's the end of our broadcast today. So as always, we challenge you to go to vacareers.va.gov. Um, we have all the information about careers here at VA on that website. Again, that's uh, vacareers.va.gov. Um, go over there. Anything you want to know about careers here at VA, you will find it on that website. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Again, thank you, Dr. Kranz. Um, this, this interview will be on our LinkedIn page uh, forever. So if you ever need to, 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 to come back to it, um, if you missed half of the interview and you want to watch the first half, um, you can always come back to the broadcast. So with that, if you know if, if it's Tuesday, we're definitely going to talk about it. With that, have a great day and we will see you on next Tuesday.